You have all, for weeks now, been invited and encouraged to bring a picture of a saint in your life to worship today. You will be invited to bring that photo if you brought it, no pressure if you didn't. You will be invited to bring that photo to the altar rail with you today or to a communion station where you would remember and give thanks for that saint in your life as you receive the sacrament. We believe that as we come to the altar, as we gather around it as a family of faith, as a community of believers, that we gather with the saints of all times and places, not just those we can see here today. Um, our traditional hymns reflect that belief. The liturgy and our traditional services remind us that as we gather, that as we gather, we do so with cherubim and seraphim and heavenly choirs and choruses. If any of you claim that singing is not one of your gifts, be reminded that God isn't done with any one of us yet, and he might just be saving a seat in that heavenly choir for you today. As each of you have been invited to bring a photo of a saint in your life with you today, I cheated a little bit, and I brought several. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my dad. Theophil Tobias Wagner. Who does that to their kid? <laughs> Better known as Ted. We don't look like each other at all. He was my stepdad. He adopted my sister Linda and I. But he was my dad. I wanted very much to be like my dad. But first of all, he was six feet two inches tall. And on my best day, even when I cheated, I could only get to five, nine and a half. Dad took us kids to Sunday school and then confirmation. Even though he hated getting dressed up, he put his suit on on Sunday mornings, took us to church, showed us how to open the hymn book there were no video projectors or screens to read from. He showed us how to find the liturgy and the hymns in that hymn book and to follow and to participate in the services. He didn't sing much. In fact, I'm quite certain he didn't sing at all. But his lips moved. I think he caught on to lip syncing early in the game. He didn't just talk about faith without a lot of Christian verbiage. He showed me how to live a Christian life. He showed me that all of us are called to be faith mentors, to pass on our faith from generation to generation when we belong to this family of faith. Dad gave me this Bible when I graduated from Luther Seminary. It has accompanied me into the pulpit every time I have preached except for two weeks when the Bible was being rebound because the cover had worn holes in it. Um, Dad died 14 years ago. He was, and he is, and he always will be. A saint to me and in God's eyes. This is my friend, Matt Macaron. He was one of the most amazing young men that I've ever had the privilege of working with. He was a born leader, both through Junior Luther League and Confirmation, through Sunburst Choir and Senior Luther League. He had two dreams that he was keeping in a healthy tension as he graduated from high school and was beginning college. One was to be a chef, he loved to cook, and the other one was to be a Lutheran pastor. We talked about that one a lot. I'm PL, some called him Mini, Mini P. And if you knew Matt, there wasn't anything Mini about him. Uh, this picture was taken the last night of the last choir tour that he went on 
doing one of his favorite things, eating pizza. Matt's faith and life were inseparable, and he modeled his faith and life for many younger youth. He fully understand the child in our hands philosophy of ministry, that we are all called to be faith mentors, passing on our faith from generation to generation. Matt died in a freak motorcycle accident about 12 years ago. He was, and he is, and he always will be, a saint to me, to God, and to those many who loved me loved and knew him. This is Stella, my granddaughter, who turned five, September 15th. Stella attends a Lutheran preschool in Rancho Margarita. One day, Greta, my daughter, called me and said, Dad, Stella has a question to ask you. The phone was handed over. Hi, Grandpa. Can we go out on the ocean with a boat and see the big boat, the ark, with all the animals on it? <laughs> Greta says, this one's yours, Dad. <laughs> I'm curious how you would answer that four-year-old then. But we did work our way through that question. Other wonderful faith questions have emerged from Stella as her faith grows, as her sense of belonging to the faith community takes shape. Stella is very much alive. She is, and always will be, a saint to me and to God. These are just three photos of saints in my life. I could have shared lots more with you if we could take uh, one huge photo of this congregation, I would just so love one time to get all the folks who are members of Ascension Lutheran Church in one big group photo. And that's a photo I would hold up because you have all, to me, to one degree or another, shaped my faith, my sense of belonging to God, to you, my faith family. I'd love to see your photos and hear your stories if we had time for all of that to happen. Saints do come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? In addition to bringing your saint photos to communion with you today, you were also invited to light a candle at one of these crosses on the side in memory of, in honor of, in gratitude for a saint or saints in your life as you return to your seats. I began this message with half of a verse from our second lesson from 1 John. Beloved, we are God's children now. I would also say we are saints of God now. I've tried to say that as clearly and powerfully as I can. The second half of that verse concludes, what we will be has not yet been revealed. We are children of God. We are saints of God. Even our gospel lesson, verses known as the Beatitudes preached by Jesus in his famous Sermon on the Mount, remind us that each of us is still a work in progress with many bright mountaintops to be climbed and experienced and dark values to be experienced and walked through or traveled through. But in those bright spots and in those dark spots, we are not alone. Hebrews 12 reminds us that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before us and those who walk with us, who will give us strength and hope for the journey today. Saints come in all sizes. They're with us now. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, guard and keep our hearts and our minds through faith in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <laughs>